Hello, sacred souls. It's Susanna from Alamanic Shaman. What I have here for us today is a little bit of a medley of a few different things. Um, the main one that I was guided to is a shark because for a few days I've had a really aggressive, invasive, narcissistic, predatory person with entities. Let's put it that way. Um, try to get into my energy field and keep siphoning me and keep stealing my abundance and my blessings, my energy, etc., etc., right? Um, for herself. And um, there was an interesting turning point where yesterday when... <clears throat> oh, yeah, and sorry, um, let me rewind a little bit. So... I have discovered a pattern that works every time. So like for me, this is a rule now and I'm sure other people will confirm that too. And they say as above, so below. So for me, um, whenever my boundaries get invaded in 3D, then I get energetically invaded in 4D as well. So on days when I have a lot of those aggressive energies try to attack me and invade me and stuff. Um, there are a lot of things happening. Like, for example, suddenly drivers try to cut me off really aggressively and stuff like that. And I have learned that if I allow it, then I get invaded in 4D. But if I stand my ground and even if the person manages to cut in, but if I honk and I basically let them know that I'm not okay with what they are doing, then I'm not giving consent to being invaded. Whereas if I just let it pass and it's like, yeah, whatever, who cares? That gives indirect consent to be invaded. So anyone who is also an empath and has similar things happen, be very careful with your boundaries. And especially when someone is actively trying to get to you, be very, very, very vigilant with your boundaries. Um, if not, then right away, cut cords, close portals, and withdraw the consent and, you know, make that statement and evict them from your energy field. Uh, the sooner you do that, the better. The longer you wait, the worse the effects will get. Um, anyway, so that was one part then today, um, oh yeah, and this, this, um, shark I will talk about in a, mo oh, actually I might as well talk about it now, sorry. Um, so this came to me overnight and like in the morning I was like, yeah, I gotta do a ceremony with a shark representing a predatory marine spirit, so a shark or a piranha. Right. I also saw a sign today, Piranha, but when I woke up, I felt like a shark. Right. So either way, a predatory shark, Piranha type marine spirit that we're going to banish today and sent back to where they came from. Um, I did feel... Like I want to actually make a tobacco offering today, which I don't always do because I don't have a lot of tobacco and, you know, all my supplies and stuff, it, it all adds up and, you know, I have limited means. So um, the abundance is still not 100% there. <laughs> still working on that a little bit. Um, anyway, um, so today I also ran into a former student of mine and in the past I would not have actually told her that I'm a healer now because this is an older Muslim woman who is very rooted in her faith and I have made the mistake of telling several Muslim colleagues this year about my path and being a shamanic healer and was hit by massive, insane amounts of black magic from them. So I normally would have just omitted that part of myself, but coming into our power and into 
our sovereignty, it's very important that we live and speak and think and feel all in line and that we live our truth and we speak it. And I ended up telling her that I'm a shamanic healer now and I gave her my card and when she, you know, she... She was asking about me and stuff, and she said, well, if there's anything that I could do to help you, and I said, yeah, if you know anyone who needs healing, which is something I normally probably wouldn't have said because I know that the, from those past experiences, it doesn't really resonate with them and their beliefs, the way I practice things, right? So after that... I had a pickup at a pizza place and I got a free pizza, a whole free pizza. And every time when I do a really good job with my spiritual tasks that the spirit world gives me, such as standing in my truth, being standing strong and being centered within myself and not making myself small or denying part of who I am. I always get rewarded with free food. <laughs> so um, I felt so excited. I, I was um, just almost ecstatic, right? I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you, right? So um, yeah, I wanted to share that story with you because I'm sure you all have your own ways of getting feedback from the universe and so on. But um, this is why there's still a partial pizza box. The rest is in the fire, but I kind of shoved it in there because today I'm burning it sort of underneath some stuff. So it was actually perfect. Okay, so then I also have this little stick that made me think of these sort of reaching hands that kind of claw, or not quite hands, but almost like paws of like beasts or animals or I kind of it, it's a little bit hard to describe but I feel that all those dark unhealed people that or unhealed people that have dark entity attachments let me put it that way sorry um, that because they are trying to leech onto us and siphon our energy and our light and everything because that's what they want, but they don't know how to get it within themselves and they don't know how to heal themselves. Um, I almost picture, and I, I want to do a drawing at some point, like all these dark entities or zombie type creatures, it's like, they're all sort of at the bottom pulling at us and we're trying to move up almost like in a with a hot air balloon or something and they're pulling at us and holding us down right so and it's like we have to like cut ties and get rid of them so that they they're removed from our life so that we can actually ascend and be light enough and not carry their weight so that, I feel, is also a very important component of all of this. Um, but also, what I want to ask for today is that we shift our perspective. Because rather than looking at them as nuisances and creatures we need to get rid of and cut out of our lives because they're stopping us or hindering us or attacking us or whatever... They are extremely unhealed people who need help. But we have to find a balance between setting good, strong boundaries and not letting them invade our space and our, you know, and hinder us in our ascension. But at the same time, um, they are also human beings who are just in a really, really bad place. Right. So, and as we ascend more, we're also able to help them more because when we're more in the light and we have really good boundaries and they don't affect us anymore in the way that they do when we're still a little bit unhealed ourselves, then we can truly, truly help and heal them as well. Well, they have to do their own healing, but we can assist them with that. Right. 
So yeah, that's it for today. Um, so I'm going to call in our spirit guides and sorry, like the smoke is blowing right at my eyes again, which is so interesting. It's been doing that all week and I feel like it's still a bit of the dark interference trying to kind of not get me to fully open either my third eye or not fully see what is right in front of me, which is the ascended version of myself. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I, I'm going to sit with that a little bit more, but um, I'm going to move things along here now. <laughs> and sorry, I'm all stuffy again from the smoke. Okay, so let's get started. Let's call in our spirit guides and get this show on the road. Dear Creator, Higher Power, Source and Soul Energy, our higher selves, our higher spirit guides of the light, and our ancestors that are in the light. And I also want to call in the ancestors of the native peoples of this land here that are in the light and thank them for their assistance since we're doing all these ceremonies on their land. And that's what the tobacco is going to be for. Um, and great spirit of the fire that's been amazingly helping with burning and transmuting all the dark stuff and turning it into love and light so let us get started with the tobacco sorry trying to do that with one hand give me one moment Whoops, I do need. Uh, okay, it's a, only a small amount, but that's good enough. We want to give thanks for all the help and assistance with all the healings and ceremonies that shall help all of us and affect all of us, all of the people around us that we touch with our lives and Mother Earth shall be healed through these ceremonies that we're conducting on the land and, you know, all the animals and plants around us, etc. and so on. So, thank you. Whoops. Miigwech. Dankeschön. All my relations. Ah, sorry, my nose. Oh, the smoke is bad in my eyes. And it doesn't even look that bad. It looks clear, but it it's just enough to just come right at me. Okay, and then I ask that any and all predatorial shark, piranha type, marine spirit, any evil ones, be removed from our lives now and forever for all eternity and that they are cast back to their off-world hell wherever they came from and be fully and completely removed from Mother Earth and all of us and that they cease to exist in our world here on earth and that they're returned to their world wherever they came from whoa ah, hold on i'm doing this half blind again with my eyes half closed hold on. i think that's enough i can kind of rip that off yeah it comes off all right here we go Ah, and so it is. All my relations, all our relations. Woof. Ah. Oh, here's another piece we missed. And let any and all portals and gateways between us and those dark, evil, predatorial 
piranha shark type marine spirits now and forever be closed and finished and removed and returned to source energy for reintegration and let any and all cords bonds soul bindings vows soul contracts shackles chains leashes uh, karmic debts and any and all other connections that and unhealed parts and aspects within ourselves that have allowed these predatorial uh, shark piranha type marine spirits to attach themselves to us or any parasites parasitic entities that they send to us to attach themselves to us so that we can be siphoned in any way, shape, or form, shall now and forever be cut, severed, and finished. Whoops, hold on. I'm I'm a righty, not a lefty. Let me switch hands. Uh, shall be cut now and forever throughout all of time and space, throughout all lifetimes, timelines, parallel and alternate realms, realities, multi, and universes, and any and all other aspects that affect us in this lifetime. And so it is. Thank you, Miigwech. Dankeschön. All my relations, all our relations. And let any and all unhealed souls and people in our lives Be, uh, how do I put this? Let them be removed enough from our lives that we can ascend without their weight on us. And we shall be strongly guided as to whether or not we need to fully cut them off and cut them out of our lives. Or if there is some form of um, distant or reduced contact where we set very strong boundaries and they are able to remain a little bit a part of our lives until we're so fully and completely healed that nothing they say or do will trigger us or invade us or siphon us in any way shape or form because we're so completely in that Jesus type love frequency so and so it is. Oops. Hang on. Let me put that fully in there. And so it is. Thank you. Miigwech. Dankeschön. All my relations. All our relations. some energy definitely just moved and shifted oh that feels good all right and let us all be f um, given some new inspiration and understanding and compassion for all those unhealed souls and people in our lives and around us let us fully truly and completely understand and have compassion for them and how and why they are the way they are and receive guidance as to what we need to do to either help them heal or walk away from them and sometimes walking away gives them the tower moment they need to actually start their own healing journey or continue if they got st stagnant, let's say. And help us reach a place of being so filled with unconditional love and acceptance of ourselves and all others that we can fully embrace everyone on this planet 
and of course mother earth animals and nature but i think for most of us that part is easier <laughs> all right anyway okay so thank you miigwech dankeschön all my relations and all of our relations and i'm also sending you lots of love and light many blessings and protections and be well until next time thank you for watching bye